Uh, just, just crazy. Actually, it was really difficult for me at the beginning to see Nick starting from the back because he looks so hard on the traffic and with the spray from the other car. But he manages perfectly. He just come back really quickly to the front, and the pace was just amazing. And at this moment, like you say, we really start to believe in the in the success. And even why not overall? The, the, the team told me at one moment, hey, you're leading over, how, how do you feel? I say, I don't care, actually, I'm just looking for the GTLM class for the moment, but it's just a bonus. Nick Tandy, tell me about rear engine mechanical grip, tell me about Michelin tires, tell me about passing a Daytona prototype for the overall lead and the overall win. Uh, I mean, uh, it's clearly obvious that this race running uh, wet for the full for the full race um, was going to be an advantage to us it's it's an inherent we have an inherent uh, difficulty with our cars weight distribution in some instances but in others it helps massively and and this track is has a lot of traction areas and uh, that's really where you make your time up and what what the we worked long and hard on the setup and we knew it was going to be a wet race so we planned for this and we took a time, and in the end, I think a lot of it comes down to the the Michelin tyres. What we do, what we do at Vysak with Michelin, what we do at um, at Rock Hill with Michelin, and what we do throughout the testing, developing tyres, and and everything that goes into making a, a you know a, a package that works together, it takes a lot of work. And look how it's paid off. And <laughs> it's it's interesting racing with the the prototypes because. It, Especially on this track, you can if you if you're much faster in the turns, you you have to kind of clear them before you get to the back straight because then of course they're gonna, you know, they're gonna come past you with the extra power and less weight that they have. So it's uh, it's a little bit of cat and mouse, but um, you know it was clearly obvious that we weren't racing them and and uh, similarly they weren't racing us. We all had our own races. Perhaps if it had come down to 10 minutes to go on normal green time it would have been a little bit different and uh, we probably would have backed out of it and, and kept our own kept our own stuff but um, it just so happened that we were in front when the conditions turned and it was it was time to finish the race overall win at 24 hours of Le Mans overall win here at Petit Le Mans you kind of set yourself up for a crappy 2016 yeah I can, it can only get worse can't it <laughs> yeah but um, no, you will win the test championship <laughs> next year as well. yeah exactly next year I need to win the, I need to win a championship so, uh, you know, it's all well and good winning these single races, but if you're champion over the course of a season, that shows what a fantastic driver you are. So uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the plan. But um, I just, I, I love the fact that we get to go in race cars and have competitive cars and have the chance to, to fight for victories. If you're not fighting for victories and you have no chance, then it's, this game becomes pretty dull. But when, you know, when you've got good cars and, it's a, it's a whole lot of fun, and we like winning.